Again, I'm Shabbos, this Parshas, Vayikra, this week we begin learning about the Korbanas, the actual Avoida in the base of Mikdash. We've spent so long building it, and now we finally get some action. The Redomsker, the Helga the Parish Lemma, has an incredible Russian tables. He says, when it comes to the Korbanas, it says the Ashma Ba. These Korbanas, these sacrifices, where we give of ourselves in order to be miscarried to our Kaddish Baruch Hu. To get a kapara, let Ashma voice as his Rosh Hashanah like Hel Asher Shavas Mekom Hamas and Bayoim Hashvi. Ah, not too sad. So uh, the Gra also has a Rosh Hashanah for Shema and Echad. He said the whole word of Karbanas is Kirvas Elokim. Kor the Rosh the Shoresh of Karban is is Korev. Come close. Shema Yisrael is our battle cry. It's our mantra. It's, that's how we can understand. Shema is Shlomim. How many of this? Mincha, Oila. Echad is Asham, Chatos, and the four types of carbon taida. Ways that we connect to Hashem. You know, we can think that nowadays we don't have carbonas. The Ramam says that the Karbanas is just a way of us expressing our desire to sacrifice like the guy. We needed to do that, so the Bershon gave us a kosher way to bring sacrifices. Here is the, is the Kirva Salakim. The Igor is not slaughtering the cow. The guy doesn't have the right Karbanas, and it's sort of pointless. BM helped out with that playing music to set the mood. So long ago, a hundred years ago, the Yidden coming over from Europe, migrating into America, their big sacrifice, their big Korban Hashem was Shabbosim. America assumed you work seven days a week, that's how you get the most out of your work, out of your work week. Like Moshe Ben Mitzrayim, he told Parai, that's not how you get the most out of the week. You have to get a day off. So America finally gave Sun, uh, Shabbos and off, you get weekends off. Okay. But uh, the Yidinah showed up without, without a penny. That was their carbon. It was a Yid who was Moser Nefesh for Tyra. Moser Nefesh to the point that he didn't have a penny to his name. And when it came time for Pesach, this time of year, Everyone knows that Pesach is incredibly cheap and it costs nothing. And his brother-in-law, who had money, who was a working kid, said, you know, my brother-in-law is going gonna, is gonna to struggle paying for Pesach. I want to support his Pesach. I want to have a beautiful Pesach. So what did he do? He went to his rub and he says, I know you're associated with an organization that gives out stock off. I want to give you $3,600, get it to my brother-in-law. He, he should know where it's coming from. I said, that's beautiful, Mekam Chayisra. For years and years this went on. And then, the brother-in-law who was giving the money passed away. Abaya couldn't contain himself. And he said, you know, you should know that this money that you've been getting was from the brother-in-law. I said, wow. And together he cried with the Rav. Next day, someone came over to the rub and said, What did you tell? What did you tell that yet at the Leviathan that made him cry? And he said, You know, the, the Nifter was actually a tremendous bout stucco, the Hester. Nobody knew who was the ultimate stucco. He used to give him, uh, he used to support his Pesach every year. So this he said, I want that schus. How much did he give him? He said, $3,600. He says, I'm picking up where, where this he'd left off. The next day, another year comes over, and he says, uh, I heard what was going on, and I want to be able to pick up where this year left off. In Kadashim Shemaya, I want I want to support his Pesach. And the ref said, I'm sorry, this last taken. He says, what do you mean taken? Well, because someone's giving him money already, I can't give him more money? I want to give him 3600 also. That year? He's getting $7,200 in that. 
in the mail, unknown donor. A couple weeks later, it was approaching Pesach, and this brother-in-law's widow calls up the Rav, and she says, you know, I knew the entire time that my husband was a tzaddik, and I knew that he was giving a tremendous amount of stock of Behezde. I want to pick up where he left off. That shouldn't stop with his passing. I want to give my brother-in-law $5,000 every Pesach. So that Pesach, instead of getting the $700, the, the, the $3,600 that he got, he's getting $1,000, I'm sorry, $12,200. Money doesn't come from people. If someone's supposed to get money, he's going to get money. So if it's going to take working on Shabbos, it's all set out by Rosh Hashanah. To have that clarity, to know that everything comes from Hashem. To know that the sacrifices we make, we're making for their Bad Nashalaylam aren't going to affect our bank accounts. It's a big avoida, but it's a misla amita. That's our cry of Shema Yisrael. That's the Kalash Shabbos Mikola Masam Yerim Ashavi. That's the biggest carbon that we can give to Hashem. The mysterious nefesh, the things which are hard for us to do. It's a Shem to overcome all the challenges of our life and enjoy the successes of being a human being, being an Evid Hashem. Shabbos, ay 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 good Shabbos. Shabbos, ay 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 Shabbos. Ay 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 Shabbos. Shabbos, ay 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 good Shabbos. Da 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 da. Ya va 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 va. Da 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 da. Shabbos, I go Shabbos. Oh,